Hello, Revere, and welcome to our Revere Veterans and Community Show. Today we have six special guests here. We have the best of the best, and they're all from the Council of Elder Affairs at the Revere Senior Center. My first guest is Mrs. Steve Fielding. Steve, welcome. Thank you. He's been our director since February of this year, but he was here last July as assistant director. So, Steve, it's up to you now to take it away. All right. What I, what I want to talk about is the Senior Center itself and the special group that we call seniors. And um, one of the things that I really want to convey to people out in the audience is that this is a new, rejuvenated, progressive senior center, which is open to everybody 60 years or more. Okay? And one of the things that I try to bring to the table since I've been there is to provide a very fun, safe, positive environment for seniors that can offer a vast array of services and different types of programs. And uh, as a result of this new cultural change, as um, I, I say, um, we're trying to revive and bring back a lot of things that have been uh, done in the past but haven't been done recently, and also to bring new programs to the, uh, the forefront. And expand on those programs for us, Steve, please? Yeah. Uh, last week we started our first Zumba toning class. And that's seeing, being taken place at night at 6.15. And I want to emphasize to the audience out there that it is, this is open to the community. One of the things I want to do is try to open the senior center more to everybody in the community. This Zumba class, this Zumba toning class, is for all ages. So if you're a senior and you want to go, you can take your daughter, your son, your niece, your grandchild. You know, it's, it's open to everybody. It's $5 a class. Yep, it's a fee-based program. It's taught by Ernie Saro and Barbara Pizzi, who are well known in the senior circles for their exercise. And it doesn't mean that you have to be a proficient Zumba exercise person. You go at your own pace, and um, you'll be with a vast uh, number of people who have different levels of exercise that they'll be able to perform. So that's one thing that's, that's fairly new. <clears throat> Yeah, two days ago we had a Health Awareness Day. They never had a Health Awareness Day at the Senior Center, and we had 20 regional health care professionals. They range from nurses to nutritionists to uh, VNA caseworkers, social workers. We had uh, a number That's of excellent. different people who manned really? tables, and it was almost like a small exhibit hall in the bocce room upstairs on the second level. I could uh, vouch for that because I was one of the guests up there, and let me tell you, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. it, it was very well and I, Yeah. And I hope you do it again, by the way. I, I hope to do it on an annual basis. In fact, I want to expand it next year and add some new twist to it. Maybe even have it downstairs during lunch, have music by Morris Morris, maybe. I or don't my know. brother. Or his brother Norris. Right. And, uh, you know, kind of expand it. And, and one of the nice things about it was every one of the vendors brought a lot of giveaways, which seniors like, and we all like, actually. Yep. And the, each one of them had different types of raffles. So it was a really nice day, and it's something we want to continue. Uh, something that's being revived. Um, years ago, there was a flea market on an annual basis at the Senior Center. Uh, Lois Diamond, our program coordinator, approached me and asked if we could revive that. And I said, absolutely. So one thing I want the audience to know is that we are looking for volunteers. And if you become a volunteer on the flea market committee, you may be asked to be on other committees as well. <laughs> but she does have a meeting on uh, June 5th at 1030 in the morning at the Senior Center. And she's trying to form a committee. And in the meantime, she's also collecting different items. It could be glassware, books, clothing, right, jewelry, a number of different things. The clothing, does that have to be new, Steve, or it can be used? No, it can be used, but it has to be in good condition, obviously, and has to be clean and well pressed. Exactly. Okay. So um, there's a lot of things that she's been collecting thus far, and we hope to really make this a big flea market. Now, when is it going to take place? Exactly. Over a two-day period, August 21st. In August 22nd, it'll be on the second level of the Senior Center. So that's something that's really um, taking off right now, and it's, it's, it's really good. Um, recently, um, as I've been on the show before, we talked about a van that was donated by the East Boston Neighborhood Health Center. Uh, I don't know if everybody is aware of it, but we wrote a grant at the Senior Center, and we were awarded by the state another van. So it's an additional senior shuttle van. And I'll be attending a seminar and, and getting all the details about when we're going to get it and what the requirements are for us to use it. So that's going to happen in, in June. So I expect that 
at least by the end of the summer, we should have a brand new van in addition to the one we have. And I want to say that it's a real necessity at this point. We have a number of folks that come to the senior center every day, and that's really um, allowing them to have some independence. It's allowing them to get out of the house, socialize, have breakfast, uh, have music and, and musical entertainment, attend watercolor class, Zumba class, exercise class, bocce, bowling. There's a number of different functions that we have at the center and outside the center. And then they have lunch. Uh, but this transportation is so important for those people because they're not that mobile and they are just full of spunk and energy. It's just that they may have a wheel, they don't have wheelchairs, but they may have a walker or a little trouble walking. So this gives them the opportunity to get out and socialize with folks and they love it. And uh, one of the nice things is when they do come to the senior center, uh, we have a very, very special art class. And all the folks in the art class have donated their watercolor prints and paintings and we have them on display in the dining hall. Additionally, at the senior center, um, we find that we have a need to help people meet appointments. That's why this van is, second van is, is really important. Um, you wouldn't believe the stress and the strain that we have on the current van. Um, so we're hoping that with the second van we'll be able to accommodate folks who have medical appointments like to MGH or Beth Israel in Chelsea, right. um, go to the pharmacy, go to the bank, go to a doctor's appointment, have their hair done, not me of course, um, <laughs> in other, uh, other institutions that they may have a frequent. And they can call if they need uh, an arrive? Absolutely. And uh, the number? The number is 781-286-8156. So with the addition of the second van, I'm hoping that we can really accommodate the folks out there, like I said, in a much better way. Of course, I'm going to need a driver for that van, and uh, hopefully we'll have a requisition to fill that. So that's, that's a nice thing. Um, one of the things I want to stress to folks is that the Senior Center is not just about bingo. There's this perception out there that you have to be old and decrepit to go to the Senior Center. It's not true. Seniors have vitality and they, they're life-giving people and they have a lot of energy. And just because maybe they have a physical impairment or can't move as quick as they used to, that doesn't mean they're fiery, not fiery and independent, and they are. You know, we have a lot of activities there. We have knitting. We have art. Like I said, we have bocce, we have bowling, we have four different types of exercise class. And on a monthly basis, we have a luncheon that is attended by almost everybody that comes to the Senior Center. Example, last week was Mother's Day, okay, and we had a Mother's Day luncheon. We had 104 seniors come to the Senior Center. We decorate, we uh, offer a five-course meal. Last week, we had a roast turkey dinner ice cream and chocolate sauce for dessert, and we had a special entertainer, Carol Lasseri, who performed for an hour. Beautiful. You know how much that cost, Ma Morris? No. How much did that cost? A dollar fifty. Where can you go for it? That's can't a steal. That's a steal. You can't even get a medium coffee at a local uh, <laughs> coffee franchise for, sure. for that amount of money. Yeah. So it, it's a great time. <laughs> sure. So I think uh, what I've tried to bring to the table, at least over the last 10 months, is to bring quality entertainment to these luncheons. And we have another one lined up for uh, June 12th, and I'm working on a very special entertainer. You saw her last night yep. at a function, and we're hoping to, uh, to, to book her for that. Right. One other thing I would like you to mention, if I may, tell us about that thing coming up in the fall about the tablets for the seniors. Yeah, um, I've mentioned this before, and it's been out there in the media that we had um, been given an ETP fund grant, the Educational Technology Program <laughs> Fund, for iPads. And uh, because of certain delays and work that we're having done at the Senior Center, I didn't feel it was appropriate or given enough time to start a program. But we will start the iPad program in the fall. And uh, I will be working with the, uh, the people at the school department in regard to that. Um, one thing I want to tell people in the audience out there is that we have had a lot of physical work done in the interior and the exterior of the Senior Center. Um, thankfully to um, Ron Janino, who is a Northeast rep for the Northeast Regional Vocational High School, we were um, given the kids to, uh, the kids came and uh, performed a lot of um, jobs for us. We ripped up an old rug, uh, we put down a new tile floor, we just put up a new flat screen TV last week, we've had a rear porch uh, rebuilt and reconstructed. Uh, the interior walls have been redone over where there was some water damage and um, the next project, and I think it's probably the final one, is 
we are in desperate need of an awning on the rear porch above the door, yep. and they're going to actually build that at the. They're going to measure it out, and they're going to build it at the school, bring it, and then put it up. So oh, okay. that that's real positive stuff. We have a lot of things going on at the senior center. Right, Steve. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you for what you do for us. Mm -hmm. Sitting next to you on your left is a friend of mine. I'll get up, George. I want to shake your hand. Oh. You're a World War II veteran. <laughs> But one veteran to another, by the way, before we start, thank you for your service, buddy. Thank you. Tell us a little about your service now. My service? Yeah. When you first went into the Army, and what it was like there, oh. where you were stationed overseas. Oh. <clears throat> 19... Mm -hmm. That's close enough. <laughs> well, I remember the day. So long ago. I know that. The I war started in 41, so 43. I think you went in 42 or 43. Yeah, and we I was stationed up near northern Italy. Up near Gorizia, in northern Italy. And how did you like it there, George? It was all right, fine. And Good I country. gotta ask you myself because I'm curious about this. Right near Yugoslavia, not right. Not Who was far. your commanding officer in charge of the army there? Do you remember General Mark Clark of the Fifth Army? Because they were. I the remember him, but I don't, I don't mean personally. Who, who I mean. was in charge at the time? <coughs> oh, who was? <coughs> I don't remember who was in charge. Hello. But it wasn't Mark Clark. No, I, I'm sure it wasn't. Okay, and tell me, where did you take your basic training? My basic training, <clears throat> I took my basic training uh, in... Uh, Fort Dix, New Jersey? Fort, no. Was it Fort Dix? I guess. I guess outside so. of Trenton? Yeah. That's a new... Yeah, outside. I took mine there, too, by the way. Yeah. That's where I was stationed. So how did you... <coughs> and when did you get out of the Army, by the way, George? When did I get out of the Army? Oh, boy. Many years. I can't remember the, the time I got out. I can't remember when... You can't? It's been a long while, yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, i got to tell you, you're a real credit to our senior center. Mm -hmm. Oh, Not only are you, you musically knowledgeable, <laughs> let me say that. <laughs> he, does, he does a terrific <laughs> job with the music, folks. <laughs> I'm laughing because we, t we only know two songs, Blue Day and the Sorrento. <laughs> George, i got to tell you, buddy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming up here. And thank i got to you. tell you, you're... You are a credit to our senior center, and we will love to have more like you up there. So thank you. Thank you. The next one sitting on your left, I'll say thank you for your service. Vincent Camarada, a Korean veteran. Correct. Tell us about your career and also about your activities. Before I start, I want to commend uh, Steve Fielding for the fantastic job he's doing at the senior center. Uh, he's really full of enthusiasm, and I hope he continues doing the great job that he's doing. Okay, now as far as I'm concerned, I'm a Korean War veteran. I served in the Navy uh, from 1953 to 1956. I was stationed at Virginia Beach, Virginia <laughs> as a, a, a public relations photographer. And I married my wife and we moved down there for, uh, lived there for two years and we came back home and, uh, to Revere and we've been living there ever since. As far as my community activity in, in Revere, I'm very, uh, I feel active at St. Mary's Church. It's been my, been my parish since I was a boy, 14 years old. And I've always been involved with the activities that go on there. Right now, I am uh, a Eucharistic minister, and I do home visit rites for people yeah. that are seniors that are not able to attend church. I belong to my brother's table. Every third Wednesday of the month, we go to Lynn to serve the uh, people in Lynn. Um, we have... Uh, Excuse me, Bernie. If yeah. people wanted to get a hold of you, like you just said, that they cannot uh, come to church. Right. So the mountain don't go to the Mohammed, but Mohammed goes to the... How would they get a hold of you? All they have to do is call the parish. Oh, St. Mary's? St. Mary's Parish, and we're glad... We've do you know their number the of Their number is 781-284-5151. Right. And uh, they will gladly take your name, and we'll gladly go over to pay, make the visitation. Right? That's, for other that's good. I've never yeah. heard that before, but yeah. that's fantastic, Renny. Mm -hmm. Well, and it, yeah. it's good because these poor people cannot get out of the house, and they, they, they're uh, confined. So they, you, you go there for 15, 20 minutes, and you kind of brighten up their day. And that's basically what we try to do, you know. And uh, other things that belong to St. Mary's Holy Name, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I was a member of the ITAMs post 17. F uh, 15 years I was the adjutant there. Uh, that was a great job too. But now the ITAMs dissolved, so that's about it. 
Right, Vinny. So yeah. again, I want to salute you and thank you for your service. Thank, thank you. you. And first of all, I want to thank you for being on the Elder Affairs Council, too, because thank it's you. an honor to have people like you do what you do. Thank you. Thank you very much. And our next one on his left is a young, well, a young lady, <laughs> Josephine Picardi. She does things for traveling and all trips, so don't expand on that now. Okay. Hi, Morris. First, I'd like to follow Vinny's remarks. Stephen Fielding is a number one asset to that senior center. He has done things that no one has done. I know that. In it's his a, brief it's like time there. Degree turn. And it's an honor to work under him, believe me. Okay. Um, as you know, my name is Josephine Picardi. I am the trip coordinator for the Revere Collins Senior Center. We do various trips of daily trips weekly trips, a couple of day trips. We travel through Atlantic City and different places. Uh, we do an annual concert at Symphony Hall at Pops for um, now, May, and also a Christmas one. Tell us a lot of the places you've been already so the people out there would know where to go. Okay, we've yeah. gone to the um, Wenham Tea House. Okay, we have gone, that was one of the newest trips we've done, the Wenham Tea House, which was really awesome. And I must say that. Are you planning any overseas trips? No, not at the moment. Okay. You know, <laughs> not no, no, yet. No, because at the seniors, we did do go. Yes, they do. Yes, definitely, definitely do. Um, I've done a lot of trips. We've got, we go to Foxwoods, Mohegan Sun, and Twin River. Atlantic City? Atlantic City once a year, in October usually. But we do do the three casinos once a month. We, ver you know, various ones we go to. Like I said, and we also, we've gone to uh, Indo Trip, we've gone to the Turkey Train in New Hampshire, and we've gone to the malls. We go shopping twice a year, either to the Merrimack Mall or Rentham, spend a day shopping, having a little lunch at um, different restaurants, you know. And then we also go to an annual scallop fest down the Cape, which is really nice. That's a real casual <laughs> okay, and anybody can stop by the senior center, pick up some flyers, or call me at seven eight one two eight six eight one five. You have it. With new, maybe they have a new idea or a new right day trip they'd like to try, and I'd be interested in following it through with them. Right, and so by the way, before I go, you have an email at the senior center. People want to give you some new ideas. Can they email you? Absolutely. Let's have <coughs> it. It's S Fielding S. Is in Sam, F is in Frank, I E L D I N G at revere.org. Okay. So, Joan, thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Now, sitting on Joan's left is a lady that I've known for 13 years, Irma Achatola. I hope I got that right, Irma. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. It took me 13 years to learn it. <laughs> okay. You also used to do traveling, but you did go overseas with the people. Yes. So let's hear what I you would like. like. I would like to go back to uh, a few years ago, being a former employee of the Rossetti Cowan Senior Center, and about our beginnings. We were doing business with a particular bus company, and then I received a call from this person. This person told me he had a brand new bus he would like to show us, and... I said, well, no, I'm sorry, sir. We do do business with whomever. And uh, but he said, I have two dozen Krispy Kreme donuts I'd like to bring to you. At which point I asked our director and told him what this gentleman was saying over the phone. He said, have them come in. And to this day, Jim McClellan of the Tour Connection has not let us forget that he bought us for two dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. But the rest is history. We did go flying everywhere, and we went to many, many cities, towns. We went to various ball games, too, four different, four different ballparks, Yankee Stadium, Camden Yards, Toronto, and now we are going on July 30th to Fenway Park for a ball, for a That's ball a game. That's Boston, I believe. Yes, it certainly is, I sir. And... We also did go to Europe. We had a wonderful, wonderful voyage to Italy, and uh, it was just, it was on my bucket list, and I think many other ladies and gentlemen also, uh, it helped them to succeed and fulfill their bucket list. 
And uh, another segue into this year. We're going to try it again. We're going to fly into Naples. Uh, this is on November 1st. And then we're going to Sicily. We're starting out at Taramina. And we're going to uh, extend ourselves throughout Sicily on November 1st. It's a 10-day trip. And uh, hopefully, with the, with the tour connection, we will succeed as we did with the Rossetti Cowan Center. I also have something coming up next week that a lot of you may be interested. I still have seats available. It's a play called My Son, the Waiter, and it's playing at the Regent Theater. I hope that uh, uh, more people would be interested. I still am looking for more people at this time. And I how they contact you, Irma, if they wanted to go? Well, I do have a phone number. It's 781 284 8795. And uh, I do want to commend Steve Fielding for the fantastic job he's done. Oh, the place is really looking lovely. And uh, I, I can't say an enough of, of his works in such a short time. And I thank you all. Thank you, Irma. That was beautiful. Oh, you're welcome. I told you we have the best of the best up here. But, n but not last is a lovely lady that I have known for many, many years. Her name is Sylvia Corrin. Now, Sylvia, I want to thank you personally for what you do for the Senior Center, but especially what you do for me, because you give me a lot of great music to play for the seniors over the years. You and your sister, Ty. So before we go on with you, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, Sylvia. You're very welcome. And there's a ten more that are coming in your direction, believe me. Can I quote you on that? You can quote me on that. You and if they don't show up, I'm going to show them this DVD. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you, any day that you want to come over to my, my condo, come with we'll big bags. Up, they, now, Sylvia, i got to say one thing. I don't know anything about computer. You're a, a little older than me, and I'm a lot younger than you, and I still <gasps> oh, don't know anything wow. about the computer. He, he but you do. He so speaks the truth. He speaks the truth. I think that my sister and I were both a, a, a part of Lois's first classes, and I can't thank her enough. I mean, she opened up a new window for me. My first experience with computers was back in the dark ages with punched cards. And this is an entirely new g generation, and the technology is phenomenal. And the, and the equipment we have at the Senior Center is A number one. It really is. Uh, they even have one uh, computer there with large print, which is very helpful for the senior center. And they also have a, a wonderful print printer. And we're also expecting um, the what tablets. Is the, yeah, they, well, they're having that new equipment, uh, new, uh, new, new lessons in the fall. Mm. And I'm going to be one of the first students that sign up for that program. I mean, I can't thank the, the center enough. Uh, I have been involved and very happily so for many years. And Steve is doing a great job. He really is doing a fine right, job. Right, but also you and your sister donate a lot of things to the crafts table. Oh, Could yes. Could you expand on that for us, please? Especially my sister, because as, as I've said before, my sister has a, a black belt in shopping. And it gives, <laughs> it gives her the greatest delight in the world to find things appropriate with some of our seniors. Um, I'm involved in a lot of activities in the community, and I would say that... Um, with all of my involvement, it gives me a great deal of satisfaction to go to the... It is such a wonderful place for seniors. And I, like well, you said, I'm the senior member of this group. No, George. <laughs> I bow to George. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all about the same age, really, here. You and yeah. I are about this, uh, almost identical. I'm just a few days older. Uh, younger, I mean. But we're about the same age. We're the, we're the fastest. We're, we're, we're the fastest growing population in the country. That's right. Our age. Yep, you're absolutely right, Sylvia. You also do a lot of work over at the girls' club, I believe. The women's the club. The women's club. But there the, were girls at one time. Oh, yeah. This is the oldest, <laughs> the oldest <laughs> club in the city. The oldest active club in the city that does so much for the community with scholarship programs, with educational programs. I'm a trustee at the library, and they do a great deal of work with the, with the library also. That's right. You also, I remember you got a hold of me to come up to the library many times, and I met the new director, and yep. we even had him on the show. Exactly. He's very progressive, very bright. Right. 
we got about three minutes left, so I'm going to give each. Uh, anybody want to take a minute and a half to wrap up? Go ahead, Steve. Um, one of the things that, and I thank you all for the accolades, but I'll, I'll tell you something. Um, we have a very, very caring staff at the Senior Center. We have wonderful staff. We have four full-time people, six part-time people, and every one of them truly cares about the seniors. We really do. We go above and beyond maybe what their expectations are, I feel. But it's, it comes from the heart. It really does. And we try to have a very positive, upbeat, fun atmosphere. And I think that I'm very fortunate to have the people, including Joe, as part of the staff. And I think that there's a great rapport between the people that come to the Senior Center and the people that run the Senior Center, and not just myself, because you can't do everything yourself. You know? And I truly believe that I'm blessed to have these people work with me. Um, I can't mention them all because I know I'll leave somebody out, but <laughs> I'm, I really encourage anybody who wants to know who they are or what's happening at the Senior Center to um, either call us if you don't get our newsletter, or you can find it in several of the banks some of the, um, the pharmacies um, come to the Senior Center to pick one up. We have the newsletter that comes out every month. And they're, they're at the library also. They're also at the library, yeah. correct. Right. Right. I guess our time is just about up, so I want to close by saying to each and every one of you, thank you for coming up. You sneak fielding. Thank you. You are a community veteran. You are a World War II veteran, George Shaheen. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Many come around from Korea. Yeah. Joan Picotti, a uh, community Morris. veteran, very my community veteran, and my lovely Sylvia community veteran. And I just want to be real quick, come down to the Senior Center, you can listen to the old music, the new music, and even your music. So we'd love to have you down there. So God bless you all for coming. God bless our troops, the city of Revere, and most of all, our great country, the United States of America. Right. And to each and every one of you, thank you again for coming, because we did have the best of the best here today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.